I grew up in uh, Menor, Ohio. I originally uh, you know, started uh, elementary, middle school, high school there, graduated from Menor Public. Um, from there I went to Baldwin Wallace College for a year. Um, found it wasn't the right fit for me, came down to YSU for the jazz program, um, got involved with music education there, and uh, really started uh, my on-campus experience work at YSU, being a resident assistant and also a peer assistant, uh, working with first-year college freshmen um, in terms of the transitions, the issues they deal with. Um, you know, it was a great experience for me. I started, uh, my first year I actually was a sub in the Warren City Schools where I student taught at. Um, I did that for about half a year and then I took uh, a couple months to go on the road with a big band before I came back home and realized that uh, teaching was what I wanted to do professionally. Uh, my first official job was with Youngstown City Schools. I worked at Hayes Middle School as the choir director. Uh, from there I went on to Maplewood Schools um, over past Cortland. Um, definitely a different uh, experience than Youngstown, but a good experience. Um, you know, and essentially once the job opened up at Mooney, I applied for it and uh, started here in uh, 2005, my first year. A music director. I did that for five years. Um, Mr. Gregory kept telling me that I was the longest running band director, uh, at least tied for the longest running band director in Mooney history with being there for five years, so that was an accomplishment in and of itself. Of course then Mr. Cooney retired and that's when I took over his position. It's constantly formulating, but I do have a realistic vision in the fact that Mooney is and always has been a great college preparatory school. Um, you know, a lot of our kids are still attending some of the greatest collegiate programs in the country. You know, they're getting jobs at NASA and the, NASA and the workforce. Um, you know, they're just amazingly successful in the world. Um, volunteering service opportunities too. I mean, there's a lot of kids that kids that graduated two, three years ago that are helping families in Nicaragua and you know, all over the world that, that keep in touch with us. Um, it's really great to see the diversity of uh, successes that Mooney students have. Uh, some financially, some personally, some emotionally, some spiritually, but success is nonetheless. And I hope to keep that going as far as the, the future and only build upon that with our future students. I do, and I think a lot of that has to do with the teachers they're interacting with, giving them a reason to come to school. Um, granted, they are a different generation than even I grew up with. I didn't have my first cell phone until I was in college. Um, knowing the kids now, they, they've grown up with them. I mean, it's, it's become a part of them as far as technology. One of the things we're trying to do is infuse that technology in terms of making a blended learning curriculum where teachers are using the technology not as a crutch but as a tool. Um, to combine with their, uh, their expertise in the, in the um, areas of their curricular strong points. Um, you know, just providing them the opportunities is all I can do. Um, you know, I wouldn't pretend to know everything there is to know about science or mathematics. That's why we have such a great staff here. Um, but it's, you know, my opportunity to be able to provide them with those um, extraordinary opportunities to reach the students in different ways, be it through the bring your own device policy, which we do have through the diocese right now, um, or any other technologies that come out, um, you know, in terms of continued reading and uh, 21st century learning, it's, it's my job to make sure that that's happening here. I myself wasn't a product of Catholic education, I see the benefits and the value in it. Um, just in terms of the way that students conduct themselves, the way they're enthusiastic, the way they're involved, the way they treat school as not only an educational but also a, show, a social experience with life. Um, you know, you, it's amazing the diversity. Even when I was growing up at Menor, you had your different cliques. Here, that doesn't exist as much. I mean, you could have the star quarterback on the football team having lunch with a freshman and not think anything of it. I mean, it, it really is a beautiful thing. Um, I think part of it is the idea of the Mooney family. I mean, once once kids really see what that's all about, you know, they, they really embrace everybody. I mean, there's no biases, there's no um, agendas. I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing to see in action.
Uh, parents should know that I, I have always been open with communication. Um, you know, anytime there's anything that has to happen or needs to happen, um, I try to get it in the hands of parents and I try to, um, I, I kind of make it a priority of valuing parent feedback with things. Um, anytime I get a phone call, I always make it a priority to return that phone call at the end of the day, which isn't always easy. As much as my wife hates it, I'll come home a little bit later just to make sure those get returned. Um, there is no problem that's a small problem. Any problem that affects any one of our students or our parents, if I can be involved with and I can help with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make time to do that. Especially thanks to the DeBartolo Foundation, um, the, uh, the gift that they've given with the renovations is going to produce essentially what is a brand new school, um, cosmetically. Uh, new, uh, new facade on the outside, new ceilings, new floors, complete with uh, abatement, and a, a learning atmosphere that's going to be infused with technology. It's going to be at the, at the fingertips of the students and the teachers. Um, it's going to be an amazing thing to see once it is complete. Um, and it's not, it's not just that the building needs it, it does, um, but it's only going to enhance what our image is going to be. Going on to the future, it, it is true that great futures do start here, and that's, that's really going to solidify that in terms of the, uh, the appearance of things. I mean, we are a first-rate institution, and you know, once everything is done, we're going to continue to look like a first-rate institution as well.